pour the contents of this bottle into the toilet. It will be clean and shiny like new. The dirt will disappear. If you also enjoy cleanliness, everything properly disinfected and smelling fresh, then this method is for you. I'll give you a very simple but effective recipe for a mixture that will clean the toilet, sink, and tiles. You'll also get rid of the unpleasant smell from the toilet. Everything in the bathroom will shine and smell pleasant. Pour one liter of water into a bowl. The water should be at room temperature. Add 150 milliliters of any dishwashing liquid. Add one tablespoon of baking soda. Baking soda absorbs unpleasant odors, softens water. It is slightly abrasive, so it effectively removes stains and dirt. It also has bactericidal properties. Also, add three teaspoons of hair bleach. It's an oxidizer, but stronger than 3% hydrogen peroxide. It effectively whitens and removes stains. It works great for cleaning ceramic toilets and sinks. Add half a cap of fabric softener. This will make the bathroom smell pleasant. Pour everything into any bottle. I'll use a bottle from a drink and make a hole in the cap, but you can use a spray bottle. Spray the inside of the toilet and scrub. You don't need to use store-bought products. This mixture will last you a long time. Also, clean the sink. Use gloves because of the bleach used. You can also clean the floor and wall tiles with this solution. Everything will be clean and shiny. Express trick for cleaning the drain. It will thoroughly clean the pipes in five seconds. Remove the plug from the drain. Pour in four tablespoons of baking soda. Add one tablespoon of dishwashing liquid. Then pour a cup of vinegar into it. When the ingredients start foaming, press them with a towel. The foaming will fill the pipes. It will flush out the lime scale and dirt from them. Foam should start coming out of the hole located under the faucet. It will be covered in sludge and rust. This is the fastest and most thorough way to clean the drain. Baking soda and vinegar have descaling and cleaning properties. Hydraulics, don't talk about it. Just two ingredients are enough to get rid of the annoying problem. Take a bar of ordinary soap. It should weigh around 150 grams. It's good if it has a pleasant scent. Grate it on a grater with large holes. Soap has many properties, but I'm sure you don't know about this one yet. This recipe is its secret function. After grating, soap flakes will be formed. They have strong cleansing and antibacterial properties. Transfer the grated soap to a pot. Measure out 150 milliliters of floor cleaning liquid. Pour it into the pot and mix everything. Turn on the heat and constantly stir until the soap melts. Make sure no lumps form. When a uniform mass is formed, remove the pot from the stove. Prepare a rectangular container. Line its bottom with plastic wrap. Do this carefully. Also, cover the sides of the container with the wrap. When the mixture cools slightly, pour it into the container. Leave it overnight. During this time, it will solidify and acquire extraordinary properties. Remove the bar from the box by pulling on the wrap. Then, using a knife, cut it into one centimeter strips. Transfer them to a plastic container and take them to the bathroom. These two ingredients, combined, have disinfecting, cleaning, and adhesive properties. This makes them self-adhesive cubes that clean the toilet. Just apply them to the bottom of the toilet bowl. They won't come off when flushing. Water causes them to release active foam, which cleans the toilet with every flush. Not only do they smell good, but they also disinfect the toilet. Thanks to them, the toilet shines with cleanliness all the time, not just on cleaning day. The yellow stains on the toilet seat will disappear within minutes. The toilet will be white again without using harmful detergents. Do you have such stains on the underside of the seat? Many people struggle to remove them. They form due to the deposition of urine and water droplets during flushing. Urine stains the seat, and the lime scale formed by the water can initially be invisible, then gradually take on a slightly yellowish color. If you clean the toilet and seat with strong detergents, its surface may be damaged and more susceptible to various stains. But there's a trick to it. Just make a homemade paste. The stains and discolorations will vanish. 
the toilet will be white again. This method saves me in such situations. I don't have to replace the seat with a new one yet. Take baking soda and pour it into a container. Add some hydrogen peroxide to it, just enough to create a paste. Mix it. It's best to use an old toothbrush for this. It's perfect for applying this substance to stains. The baking soda and hydrogen peroxide paste should be thick enough to stick to the stains. Leave it on the toilet for about 10 minutes. During this time, the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide will dissolve the stains. Then just remove everything, wipe it with paper, and you're done. I regularly use a clove of garlic in the toilet. Give it a try, and you'll be amazed at the results. Take a clove of garlic to the bathroom, peel it, and drop it into the toilet. It's best to do this overnight before going to sleep. You'll get rid of bacteria and various pathogens that were in the bowl, all without using chlorine or corrosive substances. In the morning, just flush the toilet, and you're done. It's best to perform this garlic home trick regularly, every few days. The positive effects will surprise you, and you won't have to worry about a bacteria-free toilet anymore. Another way to eliminate harmful bacteria and stains from the toilet is to mix garlic with vinegar. Fill a jug or a small pot with about 200 milliliters of water. Chop the garlic into small pieces and add it to the water. Garlic is known for killing viruses, bacteria, and fungi, and is a natural product available in every home. Add vinegar to the garlic-infused water and mix everything. Leave it for a while to let the mixture take effect. Vinegar is an eco-friendly ally in the fight against stains, lime scale, mold, and bacteria. People who want to keep their bathroom clean without using strong chemicals appreciate its properties. Pour the garlic and vinegar mixture into the toilet and flush after some time. In this case, too, it's best to let the mixture stay in the toilet bowl overnight. It's a homemade and inexpensive way to have a clean toilet, free from bacteria, mold, and viruses. The toilet will be disinfected without using harmful chlorine products, and all this without spending a lot of money on their purchase. How do you maintain toilet cleanliness? How often do you clean it, and what products do you use? Let me know in the comments. Mix and place it in an empty toilet hanger. A homemade cube will work in any toilet. Is your toilet hanger empty? Don't have a new one. You don't have to rush to the store right away. You can prepare your own insert for such a hanger. Pour about three quarters of a cup of water into a pan or pot. Add a tablespoon of cornstarch or potato starch. Mix it in cold water to dissolve. Now start heating the container. Stir and bring the mixture to a boil. It should be quite thick. To the resulting mixture, add a packet of citric acid. Mix the citric acid with the mixture until it completely dissolves. Add a generous amount of detergent. It can be dishwashing liquid or laundry detergent. Finally, you can add essential oil, for example, tea tree oil. Mix everything well. Transfer to a smaller container. Cover the area with foil for hygiene. Prepare an empty toilet hanger. Take a disposable spoon. Use it to apply the mixture to the hanger. And it's ready. Hang the hanger in the toilet and flush the waiter. The deterrent and citric acid will gently clean its interior. The toilet will be cleaner and fresher.